What's the deal, man? It's your boy DJT. It's your boy Zay Zizi. And we sending two kicks with the queen of shoes herself. Miss Peanut. Peanut, what it is, what it do. What's up, what's up? How y'all doing? Can't call it. Uh, man, basically just um, let the people know what it is you do. You know what I'm saying? Who you who you is, what it is you do. Um, like you said, my name is Peanut. Um, I'm the owner of Two Kicks. I customize shoes, clean shoes, restore shoes. Um, and I personally collect my own shoes. Um, anything with shoes, that's what I do. That's what I do. And tell the listeners out there where you're located at. I am located at 107A, Rankin Extended, uh, Tupelo, Mississippi. Oh, right okay. behind the Baskin Robbins and the Crosstown Crowley area. You know what they say. Okay. Tupelo. What, what was it like growing up in Tupelo? Slow. <laughs> um, I mean, it's just a small town, you know. Everybody know everybody. Um, I, me personally, I was kind of always known for either playing sports or for my shoes. So people that know what I do now is kind of, I mean, okay, that fit Peanut. Right. You know what I mean? Like Peanut always liked shoes. She always stayed up with shoes. So um, other than that, Tupelo is Tupelo. It's a real homie town. Like I say, it's slow, but it's home. Right. Okay, that's what's up. How did you come up with the name Two Kicks? Um, I came up with Two Kicks. Um, two, the number actually has a little significance for me because I'm a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And um, that's my line number. I'm the deuce on the line, so the two stuck with it. Um, I just kept <laughs> that and then kicks, kicks and shoes. I like the word kicks better than shoes, so I stuck with it, put it together, and we got it going. That's what's up. That's now, what's up. now, how did you get into refurbishing shoes or like creating your own type of shoe? Um, I got into it because I actually had a pair of shoes. My favorite pair of Jordans was a pair of Space Jam 11s. I think it was like the 2010 pair or something like that. And I had played ball in them, and I messed them up. But I was like, man, I want to say this shoe. This was before Jordan was getting ready to bring the shoe back out. You know, mm -hmm. now you're bringing everything back out that, you know, already came out. So after that, I, I took it to a guy, and he completely messed my shoe up. And I was just so hurt, like, for real, for real. Like, my feelings were hurt. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I got to looking into it and researching it, and I got to just – going through my closet with all my old shoes and just, I got familiar with it and I brought my shoe collection back. You know, we all throw your shoe, you know, that one shoe or whatever. Yeah. You the mow the yard. I throw mine in the garbage. Nah, I, don't I, don't <laughs> I don't throw no shoes away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, somebody, God messed my shoes up and then I just, I was just like, I might as well do it myself, you know? Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Now, as a kid, like, were you into shoes growing up? Definitely. Like, um, I, I'm not going to say I wasn't fortunate to just have a lot of shoes, which I had a lot of shoes, but my parents weren't going to go buy no $100 shoe every mm -hmm. weekend. Right, you know? mm -hmm. right. And it wasn't, nah. it, you know, and it might not even have been the fact that we couldn't go get it, but we wasn't going to get it. So it was like once I got that shoe, I got to keep it clean so when I get the next shoe, my, it build up. You right. Know? Which most kids, they probably just... They probably tear their shoe up. They they waiting on the next shoe. Right. <laughs> no, I still got the same shoe from Christmas. It's, it look crispy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that's what's up. Yeah, and yeah I ran through shoes. Man. <laughs> shoes man. Nah, I always... Two I months, I'm in. I'm they <laughs> Okay. Do. Nah, man. I think, I think your shoes say a lot about you, you know? Yeah, yeah. When you, yeah. I know it's probably wrong and shallow, but <laughs> when I look at a person, I look at their feet. Like, right. you know, that, that tell me something about right. you. You know what I'm saying? Your kid tell me a lot to me, so, you know. That's I, what's what, up. what my shoes say about me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't want to come in here and she looking at my... You know, you know they, they say that you, like, you, you got a little style. You got your own personality going on. <laughs> That's a nice way of you saying, yo. Me, you need to let me clean them, though. You we can to, talk about that. Hey, okay. We can definitely, definitely do, that. do that now. Now, yeah, me, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't just big in the shoes. Now, when I was younger, I used to be. Right, right. Now, I used to take a pair of shoes to school just to play in, like for recess. <laughs> right. I take my, my new shoes off. Right. Playing. Yeah, yeah playing the ones that I brought. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My place, I was right. not messing them <laughs> shoes up, bro. Right, right, right. Okay. But now, eh, I just, whatever. Right. Whatever, whatever, man. Yeah, when you get kids, you don't really just, 
I don't anyway. Yeah. I, don't, I don't buy myself nothing. Nothing. I don't buy myself See, nothing. See, I ain't got that problem. So I'm okay, sorry. so it's, yeah. Winning. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> a, bit, a little bit. <laughs> now, what pair of sneakers was you, were you excited about the most as a kid? Like, excited to receive as a kid? What was that? Um, excited to receive. It was a pair of, not my favorite shoe, but it was a pair of, um, Jordan 13, the Flints. I think they came out maybe like my junior year, sophomore, junior year. And I had to have that shoe. Like, man, I want that shoe. I want that shoe. I got it. That shoe so messed up now. I still <laughs> have that shoe, but it don't look nothing like it did. But I actually got it, though. That's what's up. That's a, that's a, that's a plan on refurbishing you know? them? You kept them so long? I started it, but I, I mean, I got... I do other people's shoes now. It's so rough to fit my own shoe into my schedule, so I don't know. What I was the What was the first pair of shoes that you like? The what brand was it that you refurbished? The first brand was Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, that's where I got most of my because that was that was my main part of my collection. It was working Jordan? on my own, so yeah. You're a big Jordan fan. I am, but now I'm kind of just I guess with all the hype and social media. And I hate the fact that the shoe that I got on, 20 other people got yeah, it on yeah, at the party, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I always tried to be different. So that I still like them, but at the same time, it's like I can like them from a distance, but let me go buy something else. Right. You know okay. what I mean? So, right. I see you on that. Okay. So as an adult, um, when you purchased, what was the shoe that, what's the shoe that, that got you excited as an adult that you purchased? As an adult, the shoe I got. Man, it hurt my feelings, but I'm going to tell you. <laughs> it was the Reebok Big Hurts. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They look like a zebra stripe, and they like a high top looking shoe. They black and white. And, man, I love that shoe. I searched for that shoe probably, I'm going to say at least a few years. Really? And I finally ran across it. Giving up. And I ran across <laughs> it, and a month later, somebody stole it. Oh, I was hot. Man. I'm still boiling hot to this day about it. Yeah, we gotta go find him. <laughs> I already know who they are. <laughs> oh, oh, <man. laughs> oh man, now that's bad. Yeah, that's dirty. It's real that's bad. bad. Yeah, that's bad. We ain't gonna speak on that. Okay. Trying to, trying to stay sane. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> now, was there ever a time you wanted to pass sneakers bad and was not able to get them? Oh, that happened today. <laughs> 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 I think it happens a lot, especially just with. The area that we're in is not really considered a big sneaker area. Yeah, right. So Limited. the malls and yeah. things like that really don't get a lot of exclusive shoes. Right. So if you ain't it, online, you ain't get no exclusive shoes. Right. Shoe. So it's, it's, I mean, it's a shoe probably every other week that I'm like, man, I need to get my hand on that. But, you know, Too either, either one, I didn't put enough effort into it or I knew it wasn't coming to the mall or I refused to pay like a ridiculous amount of money for shoes. Right. Right. Well, what's the most you done ever paid for a pair of sneakers? The most I've ever paid for a pair of sneakers is probably, keep in mind, I'm really cheap. I'm not cheap. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm cheap, but I'm more of a, I'm a bargain shopper. I'm, right. a, I'm a deal person. So I think the most I've ever paid for a shoe is about 300 bucks. That's not cheap. That's a deal? That's not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went there. Uh, uh, I, haven't, I haven't touched one. But, but sometimes paying that, you know, I, I pay retail for it. So, you know, me buying it for 300 kept me, you know, it probably saved me a couple hundred dollars. You right. know, from having to buy it from somebody secondhand. So. Mm, man, that's crazy. Mm, 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 mm. That's yeah, crazy. that's crazy. You done bought a pair of a shoes Trust for three hundred dollars, and that's a sale. The average shoe these days are already two hundred dollars, though. That's why I own. That's you know why I ain't big. I don't, go, like I don't go over one twenty. Yeah, one. I don't go over one. Okay, one twenty. Yeah. But that mean you, I don't know. I ain't I, I, I'm not into Jay. Nah. I well, feel they, like they, they more you. basketball shoe now, and I don't play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I got to buy something like that it's I can awesome. go but with. But even yeah, Air Maxes, come. though, like, yeah, Air Max, yeah. your average Air Max costs at least 160 Once you finish with mm -hmm. tax, you yeah. at 180 you <laughs> not, not if you're not up to date. <laughs> so, not I can buy the Air Max that came out last year or whatever. Where you shopping at, man? Where you shopping at? <laughs> I do a lot of online shopping. Oh, okay. Now, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, would you say you're a sneaker head, a sneaker enthusiast, collector? Like, 
Um, I think they all just run hand in hand. And I mean, I like shoes and I think it's more so of being able to, that's a way of expression. Right. You know what I mean? Like your shoe, like I say, I, I think a person's shoe says a lot about them. So like, I like bright colors. So my shoes are always bright colored yeah, shoes, right. you know? Oh, so things like that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hard. hard. I didn't even, <laughs> Thank you. man. Thank you. Did the camera catch them? Did the camera catch them? Oh, okay. <laughs> them <laughs> we, we got to make sure we get them on camera for no, one next. Them, them just But yeah, I think hard. this, I think, I mean, I think I'm all of it, you know? And not, I think anybody can be, though. You know what right. I mean? If, yeah. you got, if you like shoes, you got a passion for shoes, or you just keep up with fashion, fashion periods, you got to have to run into shoes. So. Right. Yeah, that was my I would say I'm it, a little, little bit it, of everything. Is it just shoes with you, or, like, would you like to step step your brand off into, like, doing other things, like, far as, like, clothing or? I think just me personally, like, on a business standpoint, of course I would. Mm -hmm. Like, more on a personal side, I probably yeah. would just stick with shoes because seeing now just – Starting to get my feet wet in this in business side on the business side of it is shoes are a billion dollar business yeah, yeah. and everybody got feet so it's, <laughs> right, you know, right. it ain't going nowhere yeah. <laughs> right yeah. now how many pair of shoes would you say you own um I'm actually kind of in a rebuilding stage um I ain't gonna say a rebuilding stage I'm I'm collecting stuff that I lost so. I've been real selective about what I buy mm -hmm. instead of just buying shoes just because, you know, they drop on Saturday. Right. I'm going to say about, it's a little over 100 right now. But Ooh. that, but that, that's called, that's, that's sneakers, that's heels, right. that's dress oh. shoes, that's okay. loafers, everything. that's okay. flip, you know, that's right. everything. So, okay. You know. So, so what about J's? How many pair of J's? I would say half of that would be. Wow. <laughs> yeah, majority of that would be Jordans. Really? Yeah. So you big, big on J's. You really in the J's. I was. Used to it, be. it was all a phase. You got to realize I've been wearing the same size shoes since eighth grade. So I got shoes yeah. for yeah. a while. Yeah. You, know? you win. So, yeah, I get it. And yeah. granted, like I say, I had some couple pairs taken, and you know, you lose stuff between moving here and moving there. But right. like I say, I don't know. Jordan just, I think it was just what caught my eye, and it was probably because I was a basketball player, you know, right. growing oh, up. So they catch okay. you, you know. Okay, okay, okay. So that was the shoe that you went to to play ball in mostly with Jay? Yeah, whenever I could. You know, we had to wear the little ugly team shoes. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but as Nike. soon as I got the chance to in practice or whatever, like, yeah, I'm balling in them. And, okay. you know, summer league and stuff like that. So, but, yeah. Okay, so besides Jordan's, like, what's your other go-to shoe? My other go-to shoe right now is an Air Mac. Oh, uh, now my other, like, my probably my favorite shoe, and people probably think it's weird, but it's an all-white classic K-Swiss. Uh, my favorite shoe, of fa back. favorite shoe of all time. That's it. K-Swiss was hard. Okay, yeah, like, <laughs> I've had it. I've, I've it's like they like forces how people wear air forces yeah. right yeah back nah, in the day nah, yeah like my you get dirty we got to go get a new pair. right like it was okay. that shoe and another shoe for me anytime so. i see k-swiss i think of somebody with a jerk curl on <laughs> that was like that was the thing like back in where i'm from like what? if i where seen some k-swiss nigga had jerk sardis yeah <laughs> some jerk curl <laughs> this way <laughs> That's why. Hey, <laughs> got Jerry Curl, yeah, I got Jerry Curl too dripping on that. Hey, put my dress up, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh, bring the curl back. <laughs> bring oh, the lead curl. The curl back. Lead, oh, lead the curl with no, it. Lead the curl. Lead the curl. Lead the curl with it. Bro, so you gonna cut your dreads off and get you a curl? No, not me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like anybody else, bring the curl back. <laughs> nah, don't bring. Y'all don't bring it. Don't listen to my man. Do not the, bring they the curl the back. Chops back. You see the? Yeah. The, they, they you know, Luda used to wear the chops. They back. <laughs> man, leave that, leave that stuff where it's at. Yo, man, bring the curls back. <laughs> curls and K-Swiss, y'all. That's a mixtape. Curls and K-Swiss. Curls and K-Swiss. I can see the album cover. I can yeah. See <laughs> Drip, I just, see your hand will be wet from grabbing the CD. I'm telling you, y'all. <laughs> this man crazy. Put your, put your coupon for some spray in the bit. Okay. So glow, hey, man. <laughs> 
so winning, close. Okay. Winning. Based on the true story. Based on the true story. <laughs> okay. Teddy, man. Oh, now, God. like you said, um, like the hype with Jays and stuff sort of, you know, died down because everybody able to get them. But right. people still be so hype about them. Like, what you think the hype is with, with Jays? You know what I'm saying? I think it's just the, the social media world. Right. Because even back in the day, like, people knew George came out on Saturday. Right. People were dying for J's, you know what I'm saying? Bigger cities and all that. You get caught with some Jordans on, they going to get you, you know? Right. And now, all of a sudden, the social media is more, it's more publicized. It's more people want likes. Oh, I, you know, I got the new J's. And, yeah, and right. the, the, the thing now is that, oh, I got the new J's, but I got them two months ahead of time. Exactly, <laughs> you know? yeah. So that's the really big thing now. But I just think it's social media and – it's all for likes and just to be able to say, I got this shoe. Right. And I think it's more so of not not people just, which everybody likes sneakers, you know what I'm saying, at some degree. Yeah. But I think it's more so now focused just because I got to have them. I got to say I got them. And right. And if I know they're limited, they're really limited, then I really got to have them. Right. You know, so just to, people like to be exclusive and, you know be thought of of that person with the shoes i guess right because i honestly me i just feel like people buying the same shoe over and over, over you and are. Over the, yeah. like i don't understand it you are like <laughs> like pretty much it, it is just you just buying it in a different color. color right so you know like some people say well i bought a jordan's that he played in or i buy certain colors because certain shoes have certain stories now that I, i'm more so i'm more toward that group of people because it's like okay i don't like all the new color schemes or if i like them i don't like enough to buy them like right. i want the the red and black i want the ogs or you know what i'm saying not so much as just because it's new i want it right so. okay. okay it's like sneakers are like the only type of shoe you do do you do like heels or like loafers or man i hate to say it like this but <laughs> 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 hey well, I do whatever. Yeah. I, you know, as long as you're willing to pay for for my service. And right. What is the paying rate on your service? Let me ask you that because you offered to clean my shoe. I need to know the price. <laughs> I need to know if my pockets are deep enough for this first. <laughs> a basic, you so a you, basic <laughs> general clean here at the shop costs of, will run you about 25 bucks. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. man. Okay. And I, I throw them in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> they mess them up. They will mess them up. They'll mess them up. You don't want to mess them nah, up. Nah, 25 is not bad, but though. They, they, and that, not cover, bad. that covers, you know. Because I seen what you did. I seen it. And okay. 25 is not bad. Right. Because I would think. Now, now, now yeah. let me say that's a basic clean. Right. 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 That's a basic yeah. clean. Right. That's, that's, what is that's a basic knocking clean? knocking the dust off your shoes. Right. And, you know, cleaning okay. your shoelaces and stuff like that. Now, some more of like a deep, more of a deep clean. That's something that's. That's really dirty. You know, it need a little bit of work, a little bit more tender love and care. Garbage. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you throwing them in the garbage. Yeah, you you throw them, man. <laughs> now, once you once you get in all the stuff that you probably should have threw in the garbage, yeah, and that's coming unglued, and that you you know that shoe you really need to let go, that's gonna run you a little bit more. So, anybody brought you some funky shoes up here? Today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, they ought to be ashamed. Of okay. You don't I agree. Do that. As I a grown agree. person, you don't come up here with no funky feet. I, I totally agree, man. I totally <laughs> yeah. agree. You'll you, be surprised. Did you do the shoot? I did. <laughs> That's extra, though. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotta it's be it's extra. a little hidden fee. little hidden okay, fee. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <I didn't>. <laughs> <laughs> Miscellaneous. <laughs> okay. Now, how far, like, how far do you go? As in, like, to match your shoes to your clothes? Or do you just keep it simple? Like, the color schemes and so forth. Yeah, because uh, I'm, so, I'm plain. Now, yeah. if you know me, I'm really, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of plain, too. I look for a lot of comfort. But my, I always, when I go for my outfit, I start feet first. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter, it's, it don't matter whether it's a heel, it's a dress shoe, it's a tennis shoe. Feet first. Okay. So that kind of, once you, I get that shoe, it's like, okay, what can go with this? What can go with that? But I say I, I try to color coordinate once I, you know, 
it kind of depends on the feel or the vibe that I'm going for yeah. or the event, you know. Right. Yeah. To what shade I need to go with. And then it all, you know, weather place, summertime, can I wear bright colors? You don't want to wear lime green and, you know, Why in the wintertime. You right. Know, you know, you got to do, it's fashion. Why you want to wear lime green? Because it's fashion. Oh, I'm not into fashion. You got to get in the fashion. <laughs> fashion is, is life, man. So what made you say, like, okay, um, I'm finna open up this shoe store? Um, a couple reasons. One, it kind of got, it was started taking over my house as far as my orders and stuff like that. And then, um, second, I was tired of working for other people, you okay. know, like, and at the time I was doing the same thing, working, you know, selling shoes and stuff like that, so... Mm-hmm. I mean, it it seemed like the perfect fit. Right. And my my clientele was growing, and it's steady, gr- steadily growing. So it just seemed like the right thing to do. And I've always wanted my own. I want to say I wanted my own. I just didn't want to work for other people. Right. You know. So that was that was the main goal, and this was my, my way of being able to to do that. Right. So what experience did you have with shoes before opening up the store? Um, I worked at a couple of retail stores. Which I probably worked in retail for I got at least ten to twelve years retail experience, mm. and in that probably my last three, probably two and no, I say about three, three and a half years um, of that was shoe store experience. Right, right, seeing how that actually works, and honestly, I felt like that was a blessing in disguise because. I had picked that up just as a little part-time gig because everybody that loves shoes, of course everybody don't want to work at the shoe store. Right. The mall, you know, right. That's, that's that job that's the everybody wants. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shoot, you work at the shoe right. store. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was, Hoop that kind of was, <laughs> I gotta say, was a blessing because it helped people get familiar with my face mm-hmm. and know who I was right. that didn't know me outside of, like, the people in my town or people that I had met. Um, and it built, it helped build my clientele, especially once I got to doing the custom, customizing and the restoring and stuff like that. You right. know what I mean? How much is the customized shoe? You told me cleaning it. It's my, my custom started at 50 and that's, mm. that's just like a basic color swap, color change. But if you want to go detail, that goes a little bit more, that's a little bit more pricier. And then anything with patent leather or like that foam posit material, that goes up as well just because it takes more time and a little bit more prep than the average just leather yeah. or suede shoe or something like that something like these in yeah we probably wouldn't do much to those mm. other than uh <laughs> <laughs> mm. i'm just bagging on my journey man i'm just saying like they make, going in they, on cloth, you? they cloth like yeah. we can do a color swap on you. And oh yeah! You know hey, she be kidding yeah. him. You yeah. know we, yeah. we can. I want do like that. Philadelphia Eagles on my shit. See, like, I, I seen the Patriots on that particular shoe, mm. but we can get you one though mm. because you gotta, you know, everything don't look good on. Yeah. You know, certain yeah. things look good yeah. on certain shoes. So. so I just need to get these cleaned up. Yeah, we can do that. We can we can swap do a color swap for you oh if you that pressed I mean, about yeah. it. You know. Yeah. 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 She pressed me about it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Say, of course. I'm going to change them up. You make me feel like I ain't got no swag. I'm sorry. You, there we go. So now you got to switch it up. I got to give me some swag. See, that, that's what I do. That's, you know, that's you go have your own little style. Yeah. Once I finish, I got, I got you. I got you. That's what I need. <laughs> now, what's the difference between your store and, a, like, a big name shoot store? Um, I would say, and what I would hope is that it's more kind of laid back. You know, kind of like you coming to holler at your home, girl. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, mm-hmm. well, let me, I gotta go holler at Peanut. She got to, you know, see what she got in the shop or drop my shoes off the Peanut. So that was my main thing. And not, you know, a lot of people shop at retail stores like that and kind of feel. Cheated. Ch- yeah, cheated. And wow. to me, you know, or they go in there, and which I know how it goes because I worked in the shoe store. You right. know what I mean? Which. It's two sides to it. Like, yeah, of course, if I got somebody coming in here spending multiple hundreds of dollars every week, when they, when they it's a shoe coming out that they want, right. yeah, I'm, I might do a little extra. And you right. come in here tax season, and you you know what I'm saying? I don't right. see you again. Yeah. Today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't you know it? It has its its ways, you know, because 
want to be you have your loyal customers then you have your seasonal customers or right. people that just coming in to pick up a random shoe so yeah like you said tax payer tax tax time <laughs> hey i love tax season oh, I don't okay. know <laughs> for real now i seen when somebody um went through you to order um like when the new jays came out mm -hmm. i saw that somebody went through you to order their pair now do you have to wait um or are you able to get them before they actually come, you know? I only get shoes on release day. I don't do early releases. Um, that's just my thing. Uh, you can get it that day it come out, but I don't do anything Can't give up two, plug, three, man. four Can't months ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that that's just my thing. Um, you pay for it and you guarantee that shoe on that release day. Mm. So... But I don't do that. Hey, I give you, you know, blah blah blah. For let me get it today. Nah, you, you get it on the day it come out. <laughs> right, you know, yeah. so that's that's just me. That's just me personally, though. Right. But I don't knock nobody hustle. So. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what helped build? Like you said, you had to go from the crib to like I got to get me a store. Like what helped build your buzz to get you to this point? Um, uh, social media, mm -hmm. word of mouth. Um. Uh, that's it, pretty much. Um, Cause, like me and you were talking earlier, I was like, right. I told you, I'm kind of anti-social. I don't really like talking to people. Yeah. So, like, and if you ever look at my page, you'll notice you'll never see me on my page. Yeah. I always just post the before, the after, right. or, you know, or even if I just do like a small video clip, it's just you might see my hands, but you right. never see my face, which is just weird. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's my personality, it's, right. it's me. and I'm slowly growing out of it. But just well, they finna see you now. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> they can put the face with the work. So right, you, go. you let your you let your work speak for itself. And that was that was my thing. And then like just people, I know a lot of people around town. Um, I say I worked in the shoe store, so they brought it. I worked in the school system, so the kid. I know a lot of the kids. I do it, you know. So I work. Word of mouth, right. social media. Well, that's how, that's what, the main thing. What did you do in the school system? I was a school teacher and I coached girls oh. basketball. I know I don't look like a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did well. that for four and a half, five years. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Now, I, I know um, you know you played ball in high school and college, won a couple championships. Mm. You know what I'm just saying? Just one. You know, I oh, should, just, I should, okay. I should, have, I should have had a few more, but we right. Know, Things happen. Things happen. Okay. Now, like you said, you had to wear the team shoes or, or whatnot. But um, like, what 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 shoe did you choose to practice in or put on whenever you had the chance, when you were allowed to? Um, uh, I'll go back to that that Flint Thirteen. Okay. Um, that I talked about junior senior year, and um, the Jordan Eighteen blue and white one. That was probably my my main shoe, which, like I say, back then, I, especially during high school, you know, I had Jordans, but it just wasn't like every Jordan that came out. So that, that kind of came as I got my own job and started right. actually buying things on my own. So, but yeah, the, I would say that Flint 13 and then that uh, Air Jordan 18. I messed them up in the in summer league. I remember like yesterday mm. too. Right? <laughs> I ain't gonna break it like that. <laughs> I was breaking them though. I yeah. was breaking them. Oh, okay. That's all that matters. If you mess your shoes, you gotta be stop, breaking them. Let me stop. You gotta break some ankles. Let me stop. Let me stop. You were breaking ankles, so she was allowed to mess the shoes up, right? Let me stop. Can't be out there your own shoes on. It ain't breaking nobody. Somebody gotta pay for that. Scuff. Every scuff. Okay, okay. Now, have you ever attended any sneaker expos? I have. Um, I went to a few in Atlanta. Um, I go to one. The one that comes to Memphis a lot, and I actually had my own here in Tupelo. And oh, um, me and my team probably going to get back together within the next month or so and try to do one before the end of summer because I think it's a little bit bigger buzz now right. than it was back then. And it's, I don't know, it's, it, in a small town when you're trying to try something new, is it kind of – gets overlooked and then timing and then I don't think we probably pushed it the way it should have been pushed right. so things like that but second to go around we're gonna try to do it right and make it big see I don't, I don't, I'm not a sne uh, sneaker head mm -hmm. so what is a uh, sneaker expo a what sneaker is expo is pretty much kind of like you ever been to the flea market 
Yeah. Have I? Nah, I have. I don't oh, know. I don't you know. have. I don't know. <laughs> you, I you from Sardis, bro. Yeah, you, you, you got a flea market, <laughs> man. No, for one, no, listen, for no. one, if you from Sardis, you do not go to nothing that say flea market in Sardis. <laughs> okay. You might get some real fleas on you. You know what I'm saying? But oh I don't God. know. Have, I don't know. But what, it, what it's, is, it's like a, it's just an event where, let's say, we would have maybe a table like this. Let's say me, you guys were working with me. And we would have shoes, for you know, sit out shoes. It's pretty much like a big, big shoe sale kind of okay. expo. Everybody, a lot of different businesses, probably some people with shops like that, like I have. Uh, you just bring a bunch of your inventory and you sell it. You swap, you network. Right. That's, you know, it's just the way to. Oh, y'all gonna stop shitting on Sardis too. <laughs> no, Where you is Sardis? <laughs> Where is Sardis? Where is Sardis? I'm from Sardis too now. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's the birth. That's the birth town. <laughs> but oh, man. now I know you said y'all had, um, you know, the sneaker expo of your own. Right. Um, like, how was the turnout? Because I remember when y'all was pushing you, right, Kennedy, right. Justin. Right, right. You know, I remember when y'all was pushing. It was it was good. I think for the first one. I don't think it was what we kind of expected, but at the same time, it was a lot going on in the town. Right. And then a lot of uh, vendors and things like that kind of bagged out on us at right. the at the last minute. But at the end, of, I think, like I say, it it brought more buzz because every time I talk to a lot of people, they're like, "Hey, man, when y'all doing another expo?" So it kind of it served its purpose, even though it wasn't as big as we probably envisioned it in the right. beginning. Okay. But it, it set a foundation to to bring better expos. Okay. So, and then we, we've done a lot more networking, and this has become, you know, I've right. got my business, you know, up and running and things like that. So it, I think the second one would definitely be, it's definitely going to be a big one. Okay. What's the biggest one you ever attended? Um, Probably SneakerCon, which is um, – I went to Sneaker Con in Atlanta. I've been twice. And it was, I mean, that's where you see all the shoes that you see on Facebook floating around. You know, the high dollar shoe that yeah. is only maybe two or 3000 or, you know, stuff right. like that. And it's cool just because for a person like me that actually likes shoes and not, I might not be able to get my hand on this $10,000 shoe. Right. I've seen this shoe like. Oh, the shoe, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know, I guess. The experience. Right, yeah. right. That's, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the whole networking thing of it, you you swapping business cards and you talking ideas and you seeing what other people have and things like that. It's, it's good for business, like I say, and just for somebody who likes sneakers, like right. fashion and stuff like that, it's the perfect place to go. Now, that's what's your cool. favorite style you didn't like did or like your color pattern you didn't create on the shoe? I'll be honest. I ain't, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I really, and and don't take this the wrong way, but I really would rather restore a shoe mm -hmm. than customize a shoe. Mm. Like, I like customizing just because it kind of comes with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But taking something old, and then take like taking Brand, somebody's yeah. shoe that they I know they should have threw this shoe. Away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm probably thinking in the back of my head when they walk through the door, oh my God, please do not want this shoe. Away. You know what I'm saying? But I like to bring an old shoe and make it look new. That's that's really what I like to do. So that the customizing is kind of just whatever. I will say probably my favorite one that I've done was a personal one that I did, and it was the. Uh, it was a laser bread one, and it was just, it was just tight to me. I like Jordan ones, mm -hmm. and that laser on it, and then with the, the red bottom, it was I don't know, that whole color scheme is just tight to me. Okay, now I know people do a lot of like crazy stuff, like camping out for shoes and all that. <laughs> Have you ever did that? Um, please no. I, 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 I <laughs> once, please no. once, mm. once. I what? went to Memphis, and um. It was the Bel Air Five, Jordan Five Bel Airs, gray. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Y'all have I'm to lost. Google it. <laughs> You're speaking Chinese to me. Right? I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> well, for, for the people that that know it and that watch, you know, the Jordan Five, the Bel Air Five, and mm -hmm. uh, we got there, 
and my best friend went with me. She a soldier. I love her to death for that. Like, she slept in the car. I'm like, I'm going to go stand in line. Like, all right. She's like, okay, bet. So I'm, I'm in line. We on the curb. We, you know, we <laughs> sitting there. I'm like, bro, and there's more people walking up. Like, bro, they probably got 20 pairs of shoes. It's, it's like a thousand of us out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that many, but it was. And I'm like, bro, I could be at home, bro. So they finally, you know, sun then came up. We all out here. Thank God it wasn't cold. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't have did it anyway if it was cold. <laughs> nah, I don't do cold weather. but So they get ready to open the door, and then all we see from the front entrance is a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying, running from the other side. And we like, bro, ain't no way we didn't stood out here. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't broke the other door down. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And after that, I was like, you know what? No, nope, I'm done with it. I ain't got time. So I take it you didn't get, get your it, shoes. Get I did not. Oh, and I have man. yet to find that shoe. So if mm. anybody got this shoe, size seven, let me know. Should have got this. Shoe. <laughs> you stayed there overnight. You gotta get that shoe. Yeah. What you, what can you do when it's only a I limited number? I could have broke the other door down. Shoes, you know what I'm saying? Go on there and get your shoe. <laughs> you know take saying? your shoe, man. It's only a limited number, so you know. You just slept on it the ain't work going to jail. You deserve it. I didn't sleep though. You just up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you probably Ooh. just up chit chat to the next person. You got your phone because hopefully you done charged it to the max. Right. You know? <laughs> got a little battery pack, you know, but which I don't even think they had them back then, but I'm saying back then like it was a minute ago. <laughs> Technology keep changing. Right. Every day. <laughs> Man. Smarter and smarter by the hour. <laughs> okay. Now as far as like collecting and trading shoes, mm-hmm. um, uh, some would see it as a male-dominated um, field. Some would. Now, do you see? Do you ever get looked over because you know you're a female in this business, or? I don't think so, because I think once people kind of get to talking to me and they actually know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, once you can, if you and two people have two, you know, the same interest in something and you realize, okay, she know what she talking about or right. he know what he talking about, it kind of sparks it up a little, make it a little bit, okay, so we can really talk. Right. Versus you talking to somebody that's like, man, I don't know what them is. You know, like, like me and him talking. Right, like, yeah, you, know you what I'm talking. Man? Like, I don't know. Our sneaker conversation <laughs> wouldn't go that deep. Right, like, very short. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry <laughs> to keep putting you down like that. <laughs> you my homie, though. You my it's homie. good, it's good. It's all good. <laughs> That, that's like the, and I think people, it's really funny because people will call me. Like I say, on my social media, I never post who I am. So once they call and they see that it's a chick, right. it's kind of, they like, dang. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you got the flip side of the random guys jumping in your DM, right. swearing they want some shoes, but. Thirsty. You really, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> stop it, please. Stop it. Please. <laughs> please. 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 Stop it, please. Thirsty. Thirsty. Yo. Not a good look. Not Based a good on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it, though. Who has more swag or fashion than a female? You're right. Like, that's why it all makes sense to me. Like, yeah, yeah a female, of course. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh, My wife still dressed me. Oh, Lord. whenever I look, whenever yeah, I look, look the part, yeah, she did it. My wife did, it. <laughs> <laughs> not me. But I, I don't. I think too though is just because maybe because it's sneakers, you know. Yeah. And most girls are girly. Then you think girls, you think girly girls, you know. You don't think right. somebody that wears sneakers all the time, which you know, I switch it up. Well, I can switch it up. Nine times out of ten, you see me, I'm either in some flip flops or some or some some tennis shoes, though. But that's just because I like I wear what I like, and I can right. care less with somebody. Whatever you're you know comfortable with, I mean? right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Now I've seen you change. Like we were talking about the color schemes, mm-hmm. or you customizing shoes. Do you have to be somewhat of an artist to do that? Because I seen you like put Mickey Mouse and then football <laughs> teams you know, on shoes. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think so. I think the only kind of artistic thing that I just really have to do is I have to maybe look at it and see what colors go good beside something. Right. But I, I really can't draw. It probably took me, oh, it might take me staring at a picture for two hours just so I can get the circle right. That I'm, <laughs> you know, so that's, that's a big thing for me. That's probably my biggest struggle. Right. And I don't know if it's maybe... Just cause I I set a high standard for my I try to set a high standard for my work. Um, to 
I want it neat. I want it to look good. I want somebody to think you bought it out of the store. You right. Know? I don't want them to be like, ooh, who did your shoes? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you took your I thought you were getting them girl. redone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she like did. That when I, when I <laughs> see them, how we do it. Right. <laughs> when I see your work, that's what I feel. I feel like, yo, those look like they came out of the store. And right. that, that's that's good. I thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, they that. look like. Legit. I don't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> legit. He was I like, when, when, when we was on our way over here, he was like, bro, yeah. I seen the work she do. You know what yeah. it is? Man. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. You know, I was looking out like, what? This is what she do? Right. Let me see if I but got I, some I, shoes I, in the closet or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think, though, I think it's just, I think it's, I have the patience for it. Right. Yeah. You know, like, I God, don't I mind the sitting there. Yeah. Messing with this shoe for a couple hours when the average person probably like I ain't worried about right. it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's I'm gonna ask thing. you like, how long do it take you to refurbish a shoe? It depends on how bad it is, and yeah. you know, and the process that it might have to take. Sometimes it takes a couple of days. Sometimes it might take a couple of hours, because you have to think about something that might. I might have to clean it and let it dry fully for an hour before I can even touch it. You know what I mean? Right, and yeah. something else, I might could just go straight into it, strip it, paint it, and be done with it. Mm. Uh, so it's kind of depend. It depends on the shoe and then what needs to be done to the shoe. Okay. Right. Now I've seen you like take a pair of like bad shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And make them look like a totally different pair of shoes. Right. Like, what kind of reactions do you get from your customers when they come back to pick their shoes up? <laughs> Crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe it. <laughs> I get, it's like, um, it's a good feeling because they be like, man, I wasn't expecting that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And my goal is to always give you, to set, you know, high expectations when you come in. I'm going to tell you I can give you everything. You know right. what I'm saying? Whether in my mind I know I can do it right. or not, I'm going to tell you right. I can do exactly. it. Exactly. You know? Or unless it's just something like, nah, bro, I'm not even going to put my name on that. But nine times out of ten, it's like, okay, and I'm going to give you that, and then I'm trying to, once I it touch my hands, I'm trying to exceed that. Yeah. Right. So it's always set high expectations, but exceed those expectations. You know? Right. So, but... I've I've had people like, man, appreciate it. you know, like right. really like what? Like I can't believe it. And it's it's crazy because people you know how we do. We don't yeah. really believe right. it. You know, That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Girl, I don't know, like Yeah. But let me tell let me let me take on this one first. Yeah. You know and I, I found out I found out I even though I put the same effort in each shoe, but on that first shoe you bring me, because that's your tester shoe. Mm -hmm. Whether you send your little kid's shoe over here, like, right. let me see what she can do to so and so little shoe, then I'm going to send my shoe back over. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I always knock that first shoe out. I try to I try to do everything I can to make sure it's back, you know, the way you wanted it, however. And I might add a little extra something in there for right. you just so you can be like, okay. Return I customer. I be back. You know, it's, it's business. You know, right. way, now, you know. Is it easier doing little kids shoes, or is that more difficult to do since they're so small? It depends on what it is. Now, I be honest, those little infant shoes, like the little Harachis and mm -hmm. stuff that the shoe strings don't come out of, depending on how you want it. Yeah, but it all come down to time and patience. At the end of the day, um, I will say. It, <laughs> I'd rather do like an average shoe size. Like <laughs> yeah. I've done like some, I've done like some sixteen and seventeens. Both. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't, really, you don't realize how much paint you got to use yeah. to this shoe. Like yeah. you know, but but at the same time, hey, everybody loves shoes, man. You know? Sixteen, mm -hmm. seventeen. Got Shaq coming, coming in with that sixteen shoes, man. <laughs> okay. Now, have you ever spotted anybody with some fake shoes, fake J's, fake yeah. anything? Yeah, Trying to come in here and get them fake shoes did up. All the time. Matter of <laughs> fact, I got a pair of fake Jordans back there now, but guess what? You gonna do you go of I course. Am. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And I'll be, I be honest, I'll be honest, I, I really don't like to. And I, and probably once I, I get a little deeper into it, I'm going to fade from it. But at the same time, I feel like, I feel like this one your money green just like everybody else mm -hmm. and then on top of that that's your shoe man yeah you know what i'm saying if that's mm -hmm. what you like if you that's if you spent your money on that 
that mean you had some you thought you put somebody like yeah you put thought it thought was important it. Yeah. Yeah. it was some it was of some value to you, <laughs> right. you know what i'm saying right so <laughs> hey if you want hey bring it to me i'll spice it up whatever okay <laughs> you, know, you never talk like yo bro you know these shoes fake <laughs> no i ain't even that bold man <laughs> I feel like you know. I feel like it's, it's enough George <laughs> floating around. Like I feel like it's enough George floating around that so you, you should know. know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your George got air bubbles, bro, you probably ain't the Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I feel like Zay. Zay will be like, when they come pick yeah, them joints up, work Zay will be like, um, go to the back and get them fake ass J's he brought up. <laughs> yeah, them fake ones, man. You know, with the bulb, I had to press them out real good, man. Them joints. Yeah, yeah, your shoe was fake, fam. I don't know what you're doing. But I but think you, I feel fake. like they already know. Yeah, you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. I want to make sure they know. Mate. I want to make that sure. That ain't my business, man. They're between them and their shoes. Right. Yeah. 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 They yeah I, 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 personally, much, I personally wouldn't spend my money on no fake oh, shoes. No, right. No, no. Okay. My feet too wide for fake shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Stone okay. agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> just get the I lean and just get the lean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Air bubbles get the popping. Hey, Dave, I got hey. your bossy jump. Walk around on the flat. And do that right now, man. Just fake, man. You walking around on the flat. Okay, okay. <laughs> you walking around like... <laughs> <laughs> Now let me ask you this: Are you one of those people that'll spend your last on a pair of sneakers just just to say you got them? Hell no, no, I got bills. Cause it's yeah. a, you know, <laughs> it's a, black it's a lot of people that do think, that. But I but I think it's it's a phase though. You know, probably when I was younger. Like, yeah. Man, like, shh. You didn't have no responsibility. This light bill probably do, but uh. I can make that up. Before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got. They gonna give me about two, three more days. I'm gonna get these J's. So I go and get them. Right. Then I might mess around and flip them if I, you know, if right. I'm wearing. But now, no, nah, I got too many bills, and I, it ain't that serious for me. Right. Um, I probably wouldn't even wear them right then anyway. So. Yeah, cause I was talking to this girl like um, before we came up here, and I asked her like not today, but right. during the week. And um, I was like, have you ever, like, I asked her the same question, basically. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, man, I'm going to tell you, my first job, that first check I got, I went and bought the, the J's that had just dropped that Saturday. Right. That was my whole check. Whole she check said, then she was J's. sick. Mm. I got to wait two more weeks before I get another check. Mm, mm, you right. know what can't I'm saying? Wear them out. Oh, you the bottom and can't even wear them out. <laughs> ain't, got no, ain't got no gas <laughs> in your right. car. Ain't go nowhere. In your car, nothing. <laughs> hey, mama, can you give me some lunch money? <laughs> can you just get paid? I, I bought some shoes. <laughs> oh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all be oh, ashamed wait. of yourself. <laughs> now, what's oh. the r- rarest pair of kicks that you own? Mm. The rarest pair of kicks K-Swiss. that I own. K-Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> With the Jerry Curl. <laughs> With the Jerry Curl. <laughs> dripping. Dripping. <laughs> I really don't think I just have anything that's just just really really rare. Um, I probably say something that I probably got that nobody just really has is um, hey, I can't think of nothing. Not I can't. Just, I can't just nothing just just pops out to me as as rare. You right. know what I mean? Right. Um, <coughs> I probably have older shoes that, you know, they probably coming out now and I probably had them when they came out in two thousand five. Right. Yeah. Like that's probably that's right. that's okay. more of that's more of my speed. I like the the older ones, not so much of, of rare, I guess you could so say. So you right. win it because you can just keep redoing your old shoes. Right. You just keep right. redoing. Like. <laughs> Look, when I have time, I got a couple pair now that I just really need yeah. to clean up my own, but I ain't got two of them yet, so Oh, okay. but I got. I'm gonna squeeze them in because I need them for summertime. Okay, summer, summer, summertime. <laughs> like colors. <laughs> you was telling me about them lime joints. Them lime colors. <laughs> Easter colors. <laughs> I'm wrong with that. Now, out of all of your shoes, like which shoe do you prize the most? Do I prize the most? Yeah. Probably my cool gray Jordan Elevens. Mm. I just, it's just something about it. It's it's a every day. It's comfortable. It's fresh. You, it go with everything: shorts, sweats, jeans, right? Any color. Oh, um, that's probably that's it. That's that's that shoe. Okay. 
Now, let's be honest. Now, Tupelo and the sneaker culture, uh, it ain't as big as, like you said, it ain't as big as in other other places. Now, what ma- motivated you to keep promoting your business knowing that Tupelo's sneaker culture is not as big as other places? Uh, what motivated me is that I know it's bigger than what most people think it is. Right. Um, just from working in the shoe store, just from being a person who likes shoes myself, it's a lot of people around here they got a you know got a nice sneaker collection or they got a passion for it for shoes yeah right but they got a nine to five right so they wearing work boots and dress, yeah. dress shoes during the week right you know, and by the time y'all get home on friday i'm trying to throw some flip-flops on right. the field, you know <laughs> right. but they they got them or they got them. it's old you know what i mean um so i think that was my main thing to keep going with it now, is there anyone that you got a friendly competition going on with? Like, uh, like who? I got more Uh-oh. sneakers than you, Uh-oh. or you got more sneakers than me. No. Uh-uh. No. Nobody. No. No. Nobody. You ain't going to put me at the no. Because <laughs> no. I, 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 I buy what I like, though. Right. Yeah. I buy what I like. Like. I feel like it's a competition. Song. Yeah, she got one. I feel one. like it's somebody she don't wanna see. that I don't know about. You from like, Sardis, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I live here. Look, okay, like let me say this. It's okay. <laughs> you know, like, I live in Tupelo. I was born here and I moved to Sardis. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you was born in Tupelo. I was born in Tupelo. But I was Sardis. born in Sardis Dad, and moved to Tupelo. Yeah, Dad went to prison. I had to we moved. Back to the crib. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. That's all right. Um, now, now, I ain't saying just the competition as far as Man, I got more sneakers than you, but just who got the dopest collection? Mm. Like you ain't got no friend. You and Kenny Lee ain't got no competition. You there and just no, y'all ain't got no. Com- I don't, I don't put the names out there. I don't no, put no, the no, names. No, no, no. Um. Now who is this person? She do shoes. They do shoes. Nah, who? Kenny Lee. Yeah. Kenny Lee. That's my homeboy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh. It might be a few people that. It, I'm probably jealous they got shoes that, like, dang, I need yeah. this shoe yeah. right there. Or mine messed up and yours yeah. crispy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to drop no names, but they know who they are, though. You're like, man, let me. And they need to let me buy them, too. So, you know, but it is what it is. They don't want you to buy them because you can buy them. And but when they see me with them on, it's over. Okay. I'm not going to make nobody else okay. do it. Okay. So they, I ain't let her get these. Nothing else. Oh, man. Nothing. <laughs> She took them behind the, the <laughs> counter and they came back out. I ain't know what they were. Okay. Now, how do you keep up with the latest trends, you know, and shoot or or release dates, I, I, should I say? Um, Sneaker apps and um, social app. media. Yeah. Social media. That's pretty much it. Then word of mouth. I try to make, you know, make it my business to go through, through the mall and see what's in the stores just because that's, that's the area that I'm in. People get to asking about stuff. I need to know what's in our in our yeah. local mall. Right. What's still online. Stuff like that. It's it's, it's business. Right. It, it, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So that I think it's it's just a part of my everyday. I always look at okay, well, what's dropping today? Because something drops every day, every right. other day. So it's what what's gonna have the most hype? What's what's the price gonna be? So I can know to what to set my prices for and stuff right. like that. So it's a Social media, you see it every day. I mean, I'm sure y'all probably on Facebook and all mm-hmm. that extra stuff. Instagram, you see it. Because, I mean, it's like I say, it's a billion-dollar business. Right. So, so as, your, as your business get bigger, is it more of, like, the love for, like, the shoe still? Or is it, like, strictly, like, I got to do this for my business? Now? That money. Do you still have that passion? I, I know the passion there, but, like, is it still as strong as, like, before you was doing it for, like, the money? I think what what keeps my passion going is when somebody come pick up their shoe and they like, damn yeah. Mm-hmm. That you first reaction. I mean? mm-hmm. Like, and I'm probably one I'm one of the few people in the world that, that are blessed to say my passion helps me feed myself. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? And pay my bills. Love, like yeah. I think that's everybody's goal in life. You know, nobody yeah. wants to work a nine to five. Mm-mm. So right. the fact that I can do what I like and I can deal with things that, you know, it's nothing for me to work a 12 hour day. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, because I'm working for myself and then 
I'm I'm working with shoes. Like right. it, it's nothing. <laughs> what you love, you know so it ain't it don't feel like work. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't get me wrong. Sometimes it's like, oh my God, I don't want to do this today. Right. But it's probably just because I'm in my feelings or yeah. something. Yeah. You know. But it, my I, it's my passion. And I it's what drives me. This is why I know I'm in. I'm doing the right thing, whether this is the end for me or not. You know, I know that I made the right decision to open this oh, or yeah. to you know. And I'm blessed behind it. Yeah, I, I think it made the right decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because right I honestly, I didn't know it was like this. Right. You know, I knew you was doing it. Right. But I didn't know it was like this. Right, right. You know, this is my first time over here, too. So. But that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The man behind the camera acting a fool. Okay. Got us looking like who they looking. Right. Like? <laughs> like, we ain't crazy, y'all. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hitting us with the dead silence, man. You killing us. I'm give my boy a shout out. Shout out Tony Stone behind the camera, man. Okay. Okay. Stone. <laughs> <laughs> now what's like a lot of people back to Jay's again. Mm. A lot of people, um, Blooper? you know where Jay. Is. <laughs> like, man, you crazy. <laughs> Uh, like a lot of people wear J's, but they said, you know, J's ain't just comfortable shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the most comfortable shoe out to you right now? Because I, like me, like I ain't no big shoe person. But when I tried on the Presto, I was like, I got to keep it. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's a comfortable shoe to me. Um, Back to these Air Maxes. Yeah, Air Ma okay. I, I was in the Air Maxes are like the most comfortable dog. I like these. Um... My other most comfortable shoe right now is probably a Sacconi. Okay. Oh, oh Sacconese. Sacconese. They bad. Sacconese. The Sacconese are bad. Whatever you call that, that's, that's probably um, that's a really comfortable bad. shoe for me. And I wear Jordan. So, now, granted, every Jordan to me isn't comfortable. Right. Mm -hmm. But the Jordans that I wear, I make sure they're the comfortable ones. Like, right. I think Jordan 11s are super comfortable. Uh, my Jordan 4, Cement 4s, they are beat because I wear them. Like, <laughs> that's like my, I'm going to the store. Right. Let me throw this on real quick. Let me go grocery shopping. Uh, yeah. So, I would say definitely a, a Jordan 11 is really comfortable to me. Air Max, not all Air Maxes. Like, 95s, to me, it's like, I like 95s, but if you got a long day ahead of you, I Don't probably put them wouldn't on. put my 95s <laughs> on today. You uh -uh. know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think it, it just depends, because everybody's foot is different. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, what I might like, you might not like. Right. You kind of got, I think, that's to me, that's why shoes are unique. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. what I like, you might not like, and what fits good for you might not fit good for yeah. me so it's, right like i said that's why i say a person people choose to they they personality to me okay. and they tell you a lot about them so who or what got you into sneakers who or what got me into sneakers um i i don't think i had like just like a particular person it was just you know growing up in the hood you see so and I'm just tight, you yeah. know. Right. I'm like that yeah. tight. Oh, you got this, like that. Right. You know, <laughs> we, we you went through your phases with your Cortez, your dope man, with the fat laces, yeah. your, your, your soldiery, soldier man, you know what I'm saying? Like the soldiery, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, hey, I told you that, bro. Hey, hey, I said, I'm, hey, I said hey, I'm gonna start wearing rings again, bro. Soldiery, yeah. Back. yeah. Back. Yeah. I need to give me some soda, bro. Yeah. Got yeah. to give me some reason, bro. And I think, you know, shit, and like, 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 feel our back. Yeah. You know, stuff, yeah. stuff like that people get, get kind of looked down on back then. It's, it's popping and it's yeah. popular now. And it it's, is. It's crazy, but it was just that. You know, it's the culture. Right. It was just our culture. You right. know what I'm saying? It, that's our thing, you know, having some fresh clothes, you got to get some new shoes. Right. You know they, what I'm saying? They just brought back FUBU, you gonna get you some FUBU. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm wait on FUBU. I'm gonna wait on FUBU. I ain't gonna lie though, for real. <laughs> I get one of them jerseys and I and, and, like I, and I swag Fubu, it out. Man. I ain't I gonna like do the whole rock. fit, but I get one of them <laughs> nah. big Fubu 05. Uh, I swag it out for yeah. you. I promise I you. I think oh, you should okay. wear Fubu. I'm gonna come to Sardis in it. You gonna come? 
I promise you, you come to Sardis in it, you might see a guy that's got a FUBU shirt on and he had it when it first yeah, he, came he out. He got the hat kicked out. He got the fat ass. He got the hat out of the store with the, like the weed on it or like the dice or something on it. With the rhinestones. <laughs> and he got them beat up, them beat up F41 I seen on your oh, face. Okay. <laughs> them two beat up like that. He got it. dirt in the creases of them hey, jerks. Okay. That's my homeboy. I know him. <laughs> Man, y'all, wow. Now, if you could shop with anybody, if you could shop with anybody, who would it be with? And why? If you could sneak a shop with anybody, mm-hmm. it could sneak be friends, celebrity, anybody. Yeah. Me. That's sneak tough because I. That's <laughs> tough because I really don't like shopping with people. Mm. Like if I know I'm going shopping, I don't. I go by myself because mm. it's like I really don't care what you think. You know how you yeah. you ever been to a. Like, hey, what you think of these? Right. I'm not gonna ask you because okay. I don't care what you think. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> like, I might say, "Hey, man, you seen them right there?" You either go tell me they ugly or not. I done already made in my mind. I want it. Right. You know what I'm so it don't matter. <laughs> like, okay. I would say, celebrity wise, it would either probably be uh, Wale yeah. or DJ Khaled. Yeah. Mm. I think their sneaker collection is just crazy. Like, yeah. And I, I like I like Wale a lot because he's very versatile. Fabulous is fresh too. Yeah. Man. Like he wear a lot of different stuff and a lot of different flavors of Right. He he got, you know, you might catch him in some Reeboks. He might have on a pair of Felines. Yeah. He might have some Jordans or LeBrons. Like he wear every brand. And to me that's that's part of it. Like you know, yeah, you got people that wear. I only wear J's. I only wear J's. Okay, I don't like yeah. just J's. You <laughs> right. know what I'm I saying? My right. personality is bigger than just J's. Right. Like, I don't know, but I and I think the people that kind of like that, they just get them just to have them. But you know, yeah. I think people are slowly branching out right. with social media because you're starting to see so much other, like Air Maxes are seeming to get hot. The Hirachi, yeah. the Hirachi took a good. It had a it had a little run. It's making a little mm-hmm. run right now. Yeah. Like they went from a low top basic shoe, which was really wasn't brand new, but since they kind of brought it back, you know what I'm saying? It's all everything just seemed like it's retro, and they just bringing yeah. old shoes back out with new colors. Yeah, schemes, the, ni- so. the nine is a back man. Yeah, and Everybody I think and I think too. To no, nah, keep going, keep going. And I think too, it's just because it's like my generation. Like, like I say, my parents weren't buying no hundred dollar shoes every weekend. But now that I got a little, you know, I got my own job and I can do a little bit, I can go get my own shoes. So right. I think they bringing it back, and we we probably feeding into that that more than anybody. Yeah. Because now you got you can go get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta ask mom and dad. Uh, exactly. Like man, I remember them just came out. Like the the air the the pippins the the up yeah. Oh. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like. Yeah. <laughs> I need, I need them. You know what I'm saying? I remember them coming out. Right. And now it's like, shoot, I can go get it now. Right. Can get and it I, then, and I couldn't like, get it because yeah. Mama wasn't finna pay it. So right. I think you know I think that play a big that play a big part in certain shoes too. Okay. Now, how does your style differ now than it did in high school and college? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and people that know me, they probably like peanut the same peanut. Same you know, man. and I'm just me. You know, and I I think that's what's unique about me is I'm me, and you ain't gonna run into another me. Um, right. Far as the, my sneaker style, I think is I think it's unique because. I wear variety. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't yeah, I got the I got the J's, but then you might see me in a new balance. You know what mm. I'm saying? And give you a whole new look. Like, dang, where she get them from? You know? hard at like them I ain't even back seen too. them, you know. <laughs> or you might see me in a in an old school Reebok or something like that. I think that I think that's what makes me kinda unique. So but my style is I'm still sweatpants, sneakers. T-shirt, whatever that's me. comfortable. <laughs> that's, that's me and a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely basketball. That, that, that's 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 right. scream. I played basketball all the way. <laughs> now, do you um you do a lot of online shopping or are you more hands on? Um, a little bit of both. I think just because I I try to look for something a little bit out of the box, I end up online. Right. Uh, but honestly, people walk past sneaker jewels in the mall every day you know right because 
it ain't the hottest thing or it ain't what somebody's seen on Facebook. I might go in there and pick up a shoe. Y'all been walking past it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Two, three months. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to get it on sale because you didn't think it was fresh. Right, <laughs> you know right. But when, you, but when you see me with it on, you're going to be like, dang, where you get that from? Right. And I'm thinking, bro, it's just it's in the mall. You okay. know, over in the corner, down on the bottom row, you know, but yeah. you didn't like it because – so and so and so and so didn't have it. It wasn't the new Jays. Yeah, right. Yeah, it wasn't right. the new Jays. You know? exactly. And then that, yeah, that's 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 how it go though. But I just look for variety though. Okay. Now, what would you say you do the most? Buy, sell, um, re- not it ain't restore. restore. What I was saying. Yeah, refurbish like a cell phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like what would you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say you do the most out of you know out of all of those anything pertaining to the sneak? Um, I would say I would I do more cleaning and customizing. Um, I do now personal buying. I probably just kind of got back into it. Just because I've been, I've been so picky and I've been, when I go in a store, I really don't look for myself no more. I'm, it's more on a business side, something I'm going there, maybe I can make, buy it, you know, make a couple dollars. So, right. Um, yeah. But, like I say, my purse, I got these Air Maxes that I have on. That was like a thing. I was like, I got to get those. Let so me remind like, y'all again, them junks is fresh. They are. Mm-hmm. I want to put my feet on the table, but I, <laughs> but I got manners. Yeah. I got manners. I'm not from Sardis. I got manners, bro. Oh, she keep getting us from Sardis. Oh, man. <laughs> We ain't gonna be able to air this, yo. <laughs> hey, everybody in Sardis, I'm I'm sorry. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. No, hey, come see me. Y'all, sound, there, let y'all, us y'all sound like go. y'all got some dirt roads. So I know y'all got some shoes. We got some dirt feet on the tape. Yeah. Fresh, fresh. Them just clean, man. Them I couldn't rock them, but they clean. Them but just I clean. The I, I love bright colors. Rogue so yeah. Air Max. Man, them just clean. Rogue Red Air Max. Style, so, yeah. Them just super fresh. For Once real. again, my apologies to the people in Sardis. <laughs> no beef, no beef. We love y'all. We love y'all. <laughs> now, it's a lot of people like getting sneaker deals. Um, you know, Rihanna. I think one of the Jenner Kardashian girls got a, got a sneaker deal. Yeah, yeah. Like, what person that's not in sports um, you think you feel got the best sneaker out? Um, you know, like a dope deal, like a dope sneaker. Mm-hmm. If you, you know, have seen any of those. Yeah. Um, Yeezys? Mm-hmm. Yeezys are cool, but some of them are just kind of like... Ugly. <laughs> Let's be just real, ugly. man. <laughs> they're okay. They're okay. I mean, I think with those, a lot of... They say they're comfortable. Mm-hmm. So I think they might well, be... Well, yeah, I can see And that. I think it's just the hype. It, those are, That's one of those shoes It's like, I got some Yeezys. Yeah, you know man, I mean? hyped up. Yeah. Um, let's see. The, the Balenciagas. Man, <laughs> I think the, I, <laughs> just ugly. The the the, the shoe boot, you know about the one with the, the laces that the Migos wearing. Those, yeah, that, the, that they, I don't, I don't know. They big and ugly. I yeah, just say, I don't yeah. know. I don't know which ones or what. I, I know just know. Yeah, 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 yeah. They real big. I like. I don't ooh. think. I ain't gonna lie. If I had it, I would go buy a pair. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> just, like just, just, uh, it, just to see. It's that's probably one of them. Yeah, I got them. Yeah. Like, you think they're ugly, but you know the price tag. Like, yeah. that would be one of them. Uh, let me. Stun on. Stun on. Yeah. Y'all the best of Yeah. Oh, but you could have said it, though. <laughs> <laughs> For real. But, I mean, I think it's a. It's. I don't know. I ain't, ain't nobody just. Shoe just really, really just stands out. To me, that I can be like, ooh, I need this shoe. Right. I do like two chains, little Versace shoe though. It look oh, weird too. Two chain got some Versace shoes. Yeah, it uh-huh. look it look weird, but uh-huh. I haven't look, seen it. I don't know. And to me, it's like everything going to this fat soul, and yeah. I don't really. I hate it. I hate it. it. And like, I don't really like bulky shoes. They look like so astronaut kinda, shoes. It's man. either it's either really bulky or it's made out of like a fly knit material, yeah. like yep. racer type of shoe. So yep. it's kind of. I don't know. You gotta yeah. pick and choose which one you want to go with. 
I was yeah. saying the same like, thing. I don't want my sock and my shoe. Like they put all that together. Like, right. I don't need all that. <laughs> oh, they put the sock. They you put know, the man, sock. A lot of the little slip in shoes. Like, yeah. Without the tongue and stuff like that. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Come on, uh, man. Uh, uh, nah. He still don't know. <laughs> Look out, look out. No, I'm not on fashion, y'all. <laughs> These are like typical running shoes, man. Like okay, just the basic, you know. They comfortable. Though. Yeah, they comfortable. That's, that's the main thing. That's always count. Now you know we was talking about um, the Reeboks. Mm-hmm. You know, Ray Shrimmer from Tupelo. Mm-hmm. They got the Reebok deal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, have you ever been into Reeboks? I have. Um, the classic, of course. I'm really looking for that that classic white pair with the with the clear sole. You remember the ones that had all the cities on the bottom? Yeah. I need a pair of those. I okay. haven't been able to find a pair of my size. So those, uh, the Iversons, the ones sitting on that shelf right there. Man, there. the ones I wanted when I first walked in here. Yeah. Man. I, Iverson's my favorite basketball player, so Man, anything too. Iverson is like, got the head. Yeah, yeah, got that's, so that, that's was, a, that was probably the only Reebok thing. A lot of people be sh- Stunned on me because uh, <laughs> because Iverson, you know, that's my favorite basketball yeah. player, and uh, I feel like Iverson better than Jordan. I'm gonna put that out there. Nice. That, that's just that's just me because because I, I nothing to do with that. because I like Iverson. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's I'm gonna look at him. Opinion. Yeah, I, you, you are so, entitled. Yeah, to it. I agree. yeah. <laughs> I agree. Now, do I you feel? Comment. Go ahead, bro. I said I have no comment on that. You ain't got no comment. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just like LeBron, LeBron fan. Man. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a D-Wade fan. I can't okay. wear his shoes because okay. his shoes are ugly, but I'm a D-Wade <laughs> fan. Yeah, I like them. They're a little bulky. they like fat looking, but I like his shoes. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a D-Wade fan. I didn't even That's know he good. had I, shoes. I just knew. That's you know, how everybody yeah, he, everybody you know, he that hate. He, yeah, he was with Converse at first, and I don't know who he was with now, but. For real? Yeah. yeah, that wasn't a good look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you cannot bring Converse back. Oh, okay. Okay. It, it ain't okay. the regular just that everybody get. Like, it's over, like, yeah. Nah, like, okay. We ain't tying up no Converse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. This nigga got on. I ain't. Converse, and they ain't the all the stars. Yeah, they ain't like, yeah, they ain't the Snoop Dogg Jones, you can throw them up. away. The chucks, you gotta have a chuck. Now, besides sneakers, um, what are the shoes like? Besides Jays and Air Max, like what are the shoes which you wear? Like Converse Vans, and I wear it all. Um, I had a pair of uh, y'all remember the Wallaby jumps? Yeah. That when you wear them, just, they get the leaning. <laughs> look at you from Sarge. You know, Don't do that. I know y'all was y'all had the duck head jumps though. The duck head, yeah, yeah. They had the duck head. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah, about, yeah. about the Clark jets, the ones you get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, the duck head jets, the Clark jets. We didn't rock those down there. Okay. We didn't rock those. Okay. Yeah, you rock the was, but you, y'all know what I'm talking about though. The wallaby, the wallaby, preppy kind of. I guess you want to kind of go with. You know what I'm talking about? I had like two strings. Two, two holes over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Once, yeah. You, now, once we that shoe string broke, you was over there. It's over with. We didn't rock those down there. But yeah, that was, I probably, I had a, I've had a couple pair of those, and man, I used to wear that shoe down. Them, they was lean, and I just, <laughs> I had, to, I had to leave it, I had to leave them alone. Let's bring the Wallabies back. Bring them back. Let's bring them back. Let's bring them back, bro. Let's bring the Hush Puppies back. <laughs> <laughs> what about the little slide in joints everybody used to wear? Little Birkenstock, <laughs> yeah, the Birkenstock. They, they sleep on the Birkenstock back. back. They probably brought for them back. Yeah, yeah. No. For real, <laughs> them, them slide. Them man, I'm all because people, I'm to me. You. people don't know how to pick up their feet when they walking though. Bruh, I man, no, I ain't nothing worse than walking behind a chick with them flip flop neck. Them two dollar hair stove slides. <laughs> <laughs> like what is like? Man, pick your feet up. What? <laughs> what about them? You ever wore them? Uh, them three, them three hundred. Um, shoot, sandals that them girls be wearing. Three hundred. You know they like the open toe sandals, the shoes, and then you tie the laces up all around your legs. Oh, the gladiators! You would yeah. never catch me a pair of them. Them Jesus sandals. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Three hundred. Nah, bro. Nah, you don't. You don't wear them jeans. You ever run up on a pair of Jesus jeans? You don't wear them jeans. No. No. I got. I'm gonna bring them up here no. so you can redo them jeans. <laughs> What you gonna do to them? Clean out the, you know how the girls had the um the little black and they flip flop. I got yo clean that out. Clean that out. Wash your feet. I got a foot. I got a footprint in the bottom. Want you to scrub? Scrub them chest. How much that gonna cost me? It's gonna be a lot because they ain't sanitary. Because if it come on. 
<laughs> can you fix the heel? It's leaning a little bit. Look, baby, no. What I can fix that is <laughs> Weight Watchers, you, you know? Just go get you some more. Just go get some more. <laughs> now, Have you ever did, like, stilettos or, like, heels or something? Somebody um, brought you some red bottoms up here to fix? With the heel broke on? I haven't. <laughs> I've customized and I've I've like reshined a couple of heels, but mm-hmm. I've haven't um like fixed the actual heel heel. And I I deal with them, but I don't deal with them a lot. Like my my main base is, is sneakers. Just yeah, sneakers, you know, yeah. boots, sneakers, boots, boots, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so besides the uh the Jesus boots, the gladiator joints, <laughs> yo, <the> gladiator <laughs> besides them joints, let them joints go, man. Let them joints go. <laughs> like, what other shoe would you dare be caught in besides them joints? Um, Skechers. <laughs> <laughs> Like, don't let me die. If you ever see me with some sketches on, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, I'm, I, think I'm, I think I'm probably going to be, like, 65, and they're going to be like, damn, y'all know the old lady with the what nice you, shoes. Okay. Like, you ain't finna catch me in no so diabetic, two-strap, nothing, you know what I'm saying? So you ain't never had the joints with the little uh, roller, the little Ooh. skate in the back? You skate no, around I'm them good. all. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm what about them? Uh, the Crocs everybody used to wear. I had a pair of them. You had some, I you had had some orange Crocs? pair. Oh yeah. man, the Crocs. Hey, are comfortable. Ain't comfortable, no. man. They ain't comfortable. That man. was like Never. that hood house shoe. Really, yeah, after, okay. after that little strap broke off the back, that it was a house shoe. <laughs> Cause scrap that land long, yeah. it coming out, yeah, it pop it out. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. get the rub and you in the back. Yeah. Like, nah, it's yeah, always good, but just slide these joints in. Okay, <laughs> go get me some Crocs. <laughs> dollar store. You finna bring back everything, bro. Crocs are high. You bring back everything. No, Crocs are high as hell now. For real? They, they're not like how they used to be. You but like a lot of people store. in the medical field wear them and stuff, though, don't they? That's why they're high now. Yeah, they expand. They, they went from that, that, that you little, used to get that them little, in little dollar simple store? shoe took them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Them now like they, that. man. That's crazy. You gonna pay something for them now. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm like, wow. That's how it go. Now, has anyone ever like brought a non-repairable shoe to you? Yes. Like, what was the condition of that giant? Oh. Don't you tell me. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> what you tell them? In, 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 <laughs> in my mind. In my mind. In my mind. In my mind. Come on. <laughs> help me help you. Man. Okay. <laughs> now, what you really think I'm going to do with this shoe? <laughs> really? <laughs> and I'll be honest. And, and like you said, you was talking about Kenny leading them earlier. Like, they be like, Peter. Man, you don't need to do that shit, man. <laughs> like, bro, tell them to throw that away. But I'm thinking, like, man, I can fix it. I know I can fix it. And, and, it, and I get to she work on it. And I get, work, I get to work it on it. I be like, man. oh, my God, why did I tell them not to do this shit? Okay. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I, it's a pain, but it's not a pain because I like it. It's, it's a challenge. You like me. the challenge. Like, the more messed up it is. I'm finna, I'm finna try to bring it back. To, yeah. You know what I'm saying? As Put much as I possibly in. can. But yeah, I get, you know, I get a lot of stuff that I'm like, I can't really do nothing with, especially if you're trying to take it from a beater to, <laughs> to like stars. a fresh custom. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just because that. That's from just a beater? Like a beater. <laughs> like a, What's it's, a beater? It's That's the beat up jet. It's like yeah. a worn shoe. Yeah. yeah. Like a super, super worn shoe. <laughs> beater. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Vita. <So>. Me Vita. <laughs> no, no, no. But but yeah, if it's like just really, really messed up, it's like trying to draw a brand new paint on a crinkled piece of paper. Right. It ain't gonna work. Right. Or if it might work, but it's not gonna look as good if as if I had a fresh brand new sheet of paper. Okay. Which right. is what I'm trying to kind of mostly get towards, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? far as custom wise it's like when i touch a custom i would really rather for it to be brand new or like new but you know till i get to that point i'm gonna do what i can okay what advice would you give to someone that's trying to get in into the same field that you in do it for passion not money because i think at the end of the day if you're doing this for money you won't last long um i love what i do uh, whether I was getting paid for it or not, I was. I'm still gonna wake up and see what new shoes come out on Saturday. Right. Uh, I'm still gonna clean my shoes when I see my shoes dirty. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, 
that's 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 it really you don't go for money because at the end of the day you you might make some money but it ain't gonna last long mm-hmm. right. it's nothing that you can build a foundation with or you'll be able to feed your family in the long run and be able to pass down which is which is my goal is oh, to yeah. is to take this and break a cycle within my community and with you know my family and stuff like that you know? right that's what's up man i'm i'm proud to see any and I'm willing to help any black owned businesses out. <laughs> That's know? what's up. That's what's I up. I like you work peanut and I appreciate I it. wish you more success in the future. I appreciate it. I'm gonna come visit you and sorry this too. Come on, man. Come <laughs> on. Too, man. You <laughs> have to now, man. Coming, you done man. ranked on us enough. We gotta come <laughs> show you some love, man. I'm coming. Sorry this Mississippi. Yeah, but man. Before we do close it out though, like, what is success to you? Like, how would you define success? Um Success to me, success to me. Um, I think I said it earlier. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to use my passion to to support myself, to feed myself, and right. eventually, you know, and my family. You know, that that's my main thing. Do something that I love, and to still be able to to give back, have enough to give back. Right. Um, and hopefully. Me opening this and me doing what I do inspires somebody else to go do the same. You know, take whether it's shoes or not. Like all it takes is you doing it. Right. At the end of the day, that's that was. I think that's the hardest thing is for people to just do it. Do it. Right. You know what I mean? Like man, I, you know you hate your job. Yeah. Right. You know I mean? yeah. Right. Man, I gotta get them go to work. I don't. <laughs> right. I don't hate getting up going to work. Oh. Okay. Because you know, I do something that I love, and I think that's. I think that's success to me. Um, money will come, you know what I mean? I'm really not too big in fame. If it come, it come. I'd rather have a check, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, always. I'm a, I've always been a behind the scenes person. Yeah. So, um, so let me say that if you run into me and I don't speak to you, it's probably, it don't, don't take it bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't take it bad. I'm cool, but if I don't really know you, I don't really fool with you. But I think that's just, to be blessed to do something that I love and get paid to do. You know, I get paid to clean people's shoes. I get paid to go go shop for people's shoes. Right. Oh, yeah. So I, I don't think I can ask for anything better. Okay. okay. Now give everybody the links like Facebook, Instagram, whatever, how they can get in touch yeah, with you. Definitely okay, need okay, to okay. Gotta yeah. get in touch. Yeah, yeah, got well, to. First, the shop 107A ranking extended, uh, Tupelo, Mississippi. I am kind of in the crosstown area. If you don't know, the telephone number is 662-372-3336. Uh, Instagram is at 2TWO, the number 2, kicks with a Z. Snapchat, 2Kicks, spell it out, T-W-O-K-I-C-K-Z. Um, and on Facebook, it's 2Kicks Restorations and Customs is the page on there. Okay, that's what's Sound up. Sound like it little <laughs> Got it all out though. Nah, hey, I enjoy having you on the show. I yeah, appreciate I y'all, you man. too, this man. Was I'm sorry, I didn't know what about. to expect. Yeah. Sardis. You know? I love Sardis, Sardis man. What's up, Sardis, man? What's up, Sardis? But let you know you always have a home on the podcast, on hey, the loud on podcast. The loud whenever you yeah. need to come out and express yourself, just give us a call. I got you. I got you. I appreciate yeah. the opportunity. And, and I need one of these shirts, though. Hey, yeah, we'll get you yeah, we got the two free shirts in this thing too. <laughs> we'll get you. So, yeah, we'll most deal. We'll most deal. Okay. You know? yeah. yeah, man. So it's your boy DJ T. Your boy Zay ZZ. Man, y'all just remember, man. You been tuned in to the Loud Podcast, man. And just remember, dreams do not have deadlines, man. And never limit yourself. This is your boy DJ T. Zay ZZ. Peace out. Peanut. We out. <laughs> we out this thing, man. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm.